Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Eric Surf6 and welcome to another episode of Eric Mealtime. Today I'm going to be eating tendon for lunch. It's called tendon tenya. Is that right? That's right. It's right behind me there. And this is tempura over rice or tempura over soba noodles. A couple different ways you can do it. So I'm going to try a couple different ways. And uh, this is casual eating, so it's not very expensive, but it's a good way to try tempura for a good value. Let's go. Go. Careful, there's stairs here. Seven of them. Oh, yeah. Doesn't that look delicious? Look at that. That's fried shrimp there. There's a maybe soft boiled egg. Piece of fish or two. Hard to tell what these are. There's another one over here. Mm hmm. I like that. I like this egg better. Tempura, lots of different. Looks like veggies mostly with greens there. Uh -huh. I think I'm going to get one of each of these. Yeah. This one's about. Seven dollars. This one's about six dollars fifty cents U.S. Good price. Here's some other more basic ones. These are even. These are even less. Yeah. Well, about the same. Six seven dollars. It's colorful, huh? Yeah. This was the udon noodles. Actually, yeah, thin udon noodles. That looks interesting. I like that. Usually, udon noodles are thicker. This is a chain shop. I guess there's several of them in the Tokyo area, and they've got an English menu, huh? It's just very English friendly, huh? I'm gonna get the excellent tendon. Yeah, that one for sure. Okay, now it's time to get into the cold soba. Put some more onions on there. Yeah, here we go. Oh boy. Cold soba is a treat when it gets warm in the summer. Yeah. Because if you, if you eat like hot soba or hot ramen, you're going to sweat afterwards. That's a guarantee. Oh my, that is really pleasant. Mm-hmm, it's going for some more. The wasabi adds a nice kick to it. <clears throat> sort of a shoyu sauce. Mm-hmm, the onions are nice too. Gives it some kick. Let's give the uh, side dishes a try here. Now these two came with the set. And actually, I ordered since I ordered the the soba noodles with it, this set right here, what you can see here, including all you can drink tea, look at you, is about eight dollars fifty cents. Okay, these are side dishes that I just ordered additional. So I think this is uh, spinach and bonito flakes. Got to get your greens in, darky leaf, darky leaf, leafy dark greens. Those are the ones. There's protein in this stuff. Oh, this is cold, and it's not in any sauce. It's not cooked in any butter or nothing. Almost flavorless. Hmm. This is called uh, kimpira gobo. It's a uh, burdock root. Very common dish. This one's full of flavor. Good to mix these two, I think. It's marinated in a, um, what you call it? Like a spicy sweet sauce. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. A bite of this, a bite of that. That's the way to do it. It's got some lotus root in it, some carrots. So it's a salad, essentially. And over here, moving over to the uh, the fish pond, the sea. This is uh, octopus and wakame or seaweed. It's in a sauce. Let's get some tentacles. I'm a big fan of octopus. I didn't used to like it, but I really do now. No shortage of seaweed either here. Mm -hmm. Let's test it out. Let's go for a big bite. It's in the vinegar. It's very sour. Whoa. This seaweed is amazing for you, Soggy. Force yourself to eat it. Mm -hmm. Your body will thank you later. It looks gorgeous, doesn't it? Some chopsticks. So what we've got here, this is the tempura bowl, tendon, so it's served over rice. Looks delicious. Smells amazing. And this is the cold soba noodles, because it's getting pretty warm in Japan now. A little bit of uh, onions here and some wasabi. And this is the sauce, the dipping sauce. They're all up. I don't know if this goes in here. I think maybe this is for here. We'll start with the hot. I'm gonna start with the uh, lotus root. This is called, uh, I guess you can put extra sauce on it too if you want. I'll put a little bit of extra sauce just because that's the way I roll. A bit of spice, togarashi, some red pepper. Let's start off with the lotus root here. It's a little on the chewy side. 
good though. These are the uh, mushrooms. I forgot what they're called already. Let me give you the name of the mushrooms. There's so many different types of mushrooms in Japan. They're called um, my, my take mushrooms. My take. Yeah. It's hard to see here. There you go. You can get a look at them there. Oh, hot, hot, hot. I'm not a big mushroom eater, but these are good. The uh, tempura coating is sweet, it's light. Guess what we have here? A soft boiled egg in, with tempura on it. That is amazing. Maybe the best egg I've ever had. To eat a little bit of the rice here. Otherwise, I'm just gonna have rice left and nothing else. What do we have here? I'm not sure, I'll let you know. Oh my, it's a piece of pork. Wow, sweet, nicely marinated, it's tender. That is really good. I can't believe all this costs like seven dollars. It's amazing. Because you know tempura is usually kind of an upscale thing. You can't get you can't have tempura for less than you know fifty bucks a person if you just go to like a regular tempura restaurant. More pork. Two pieces of pork. All right, let's go for this massive green. Look at this thing. It's like a whole garden. I wonder what's in it. Oh, sweet. It's got a bunch of things. I don't know. Green beans, finish. A lot of goodies. All right, here we go. Set menu number two. This is a little more deluxe. This is this is the meat here. So this is the shrimp, fried shrimp. This one I believe is the anago or sea eel. And then the, uh, this is ika or squid. And there's some volume there. These are green beans, I think. This one comes with, they say it's half boiled. The egg's half boiled, but I don't know. It looks pretty raw to me. Half boiled, really? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> maybe it's a quarter boiled, huh? And then this is hot udon noodles. Okay. And what I really like about this restaurant is they give you a pitcher of cold tea, which is a treat. Yeah, because it's summer. It's, it's hot in Japan right now, so very thirst quenching. Mm. Mugi cha. It's uh, what is that? Mugi. Help me out. It's a barley or something. It's got a very distinct flavor. It comes out in the summer. Get into it. First, uh, we'll do the greens. Ingen, I think this is called. These are uh, yeah, green beans. <laughs> Yummy. I think this one in the middle here is. This is the uh, sea eel, anago. Two types of sea eel. No, one type of sea eel, the anago, because it comes from the sea. And the other type of eel in Japan is the unagi, which is freshwater. Wow, that is delicious. Mm-hmm. I think this is a very good way to eat anago because the sea eel by itself, I don't know, it's a little, it's a little mushy. But when you do it tempura style, it just makes it come alive. And look, it's gorgeous. Wow, sweet. Okay. Now we're gonna do it like the Japanese do. You mix it up. I was supposed to put this on in the beginning, but I didn't want to spoil it. Here we go. No, don't do it, Eric. And part of this channel is showing you how to eat Japanese food correctly. So <clears throat> if it was me, I wouldn't have put that on there, but that's how you do it. Okay, moving on. This is the shrimp part two. I think I had one of these already. Did I or did I not? I'm not sure how I'm feeling. Words can't express the, the raw egg. I don't, I, just, I don't get it. Need some, some dry rice over here. And this last piece is, this is gonna be squid. It's a big piece of squid. Oh, wow. Hmm. Surprisingly, that goes good with the rye. It adds flavor to the rice as well, too. Not bad, not bad. Let's give the noodles a taste. Udon noodles, serve hot. Now, I like these, because they're not as thick. They're not as thick as the normal udon noodles. <clears throat> Which to me, I think are too thick. This is just about right. I'm guessing I'm really gonna like these, but first we'll go ahead and uh, spice it up a little bit. Some red pepper. This is, I believe this is sea salt. Try a little bit of that, just a little bit. Because generally, udon noodles are pretty bland. And it's slippery. <clears throat> I 
Not bad. Mm -hmm. Regular udon noodles take forever to chew because they're so thick, but these not so much. They're chewy, but they break down pretty quick. Yeah, I like these a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> noodles are just fun to eat. I would definitely recommend this place. I'll give you the rating in a minute. <clears throat> All right, look at these, what are these? I hope they're not more raw eggs. No, this is dessert. It's called manju. It's a special type of manju. It's uh, karinto manju. And the English is black sugar sweetened bean paste bun. Did you get all that? Black sugar sweetened bean paste bun. Black sugar sweetened bean paste bun. Black sugar sweetened bean paste bun. Say that three times fast. Black sugar sweetened bean paste bun. Black sugar sweetened bean paste bun. Black sugar sweetened bean paste bun. Mm -hmm. I'll eat the ugly one. The cameraman gets the uh, perfect one. What is this? Deep fried. They brand their uh, name on there. What do you call that? Black sugar sweet bean paste bun. Black sugar sweet bean paste bun. Black sugar sweet bean paste bun. What do you call that? I like that. It says Tenya. It's uh, wow. It's what? It's, it's oily. Oh, I taste the brown sugar. Oh, this is a treat. Wow. I can tell you what. This has got a lot of calories in it. It's really sweet. Deep fried. It's oily. This is a masterpiece. Wow, delicious. Well, I think that's gonna do it. Finished up everything for the cameraman. I believe it is time to rate this meal. For today's rating, I have the uh, survey from the restaurant here. And uh, what I thought was interesting was they have their ranking system. It's one to five. So I've went ahead and added the six here for my system. And uh, Tendontenya, it's a chain restaurant. There's 250 plus restaurants in Japan and almost 100 of them are in, in the Tokyo area. So the first one is taste. Taste, I'm gonna give it a, this is Futsu. I'm gonna give it a three. It's a meh. And for service, that's the next one. Service is really good. I'll give the service a five. That's uh, manzoku, okay, which means fully satisfied. Uh, cleanliness, the restaurant's definitely clean. Uh, I'll give it a five as well too, manzoku. And the last one is atmosphere. Now uh, the atmosphere here is, for me, see, what I require in a restaurant is quiet. It can't be super loud, loud otherwise you can't hear me eat the food. And it makes it hard for me to think, believe it or not. And also the background music. They are playing background music here, but it's really, really quiet, which means we're good. It's not blaring like at some places blasting out. So atmosphere is also a manzoku. It's a five. Five minutes? In? Yeah. So for a casual place, for value, this place is great. So overall rating, I'm going to give it a, I guess I'll give it a five. Yeah, it's a five overall. So I enjoyed it. It's not quite a six, but if you want to eat cheap tempura, this is the place to come for sure. If you're going to eat expensive tempura, you want the real experience, you're going to spend three times as much, but you'll notice the difference in taste. Mm -hmm. So there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Eric Mealtime. And leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thumbs down if you didn't like it. I always look forward to reading your comments. And we'll see you in the next Eric Mealtime. Black sugar sweet bean paste bun. Black sugar sweet bean paste bun. Black sugar sweet bean paste bun. What do you call that? Wow. What's the masterpiece? Darky leaf. Darky leaf. Leafy dark green. Mm-hmm. That's the way to do it. If you're new, hit that subscribe button top center of the screen and also consider supporting me on Patreon. That way you can help me create better videos for you. Click on the link bottom center of the screen for that. You can see many of the different reward levels for your support. Be well and we'll see you soon.